Hi guys, this is Kyle, and I'm just explaining why we do our long duration uh, moving around. Um, so that's our uh, somewhere between you know 20, 24 minutes of uh, consistent movement, and uh, why we do it at such a, uh, a low intensity. So the reason we do that is because we are building in muscle endurance. Um, in different move in different muscle groups. So uh, what I like to say is like um, muscle endurance, your ability to hold a position or uh, to contract over time. So a lot of people think you need to do it through running or rowing or or or, or air dining or riding a bike or something like that. That's building endurance, um, but most of that is in the legs for muscular endurance. Um, what we're doing with it is, say we do air dines with just our arms, we are working on being able to move the arms back and forth, which most people, unless they have a job where the, that's physical and they're pulling and pushing and doing things all day, um, they're not gonna have that much endurance. So when it comes to doing this over and over and over, you haven't done that more than 30 seconds. So a set of push-ups, maybe you do 20, uh, <clears throat> that's only 20 times but if we told you to do this you know for five minutes you're, you're gonna get somewhere up into the hundreds of times um, well maybe hundreds uh, where you're pushing and pulling back and forth uh, same thing time under load uh, with sing one to carry um, a simple thing I like to tell people especially when we do our overhead carries and we're holding it overhead and we're doing things like that um, a simple explanation for that is like changing a light bulb. I don't know if you've had your hand up and all of a sudden your shoulder starts to light on fire and it's only been 30 seconds. Well, how often do you work with your hands over your head? Uh, I know I don't very often unless I'm doing weighted movements and things like that. Um, so, well, and I don't hang lights for a living. So I'm not, you know, maybe this season is a great idea for Christmas hanging lights, build an awesome endurance for that. But uh, when we hold a plate overhead, we're training those muscles to be firing for longer than you know that 30 seconds it takes to screw in the light. So yeah, you're plenty strong, but it starts to line on fire and it just really doesn't have that endurance to hold um, unless we train it. So these are the reasons why we do it. And we do it at such a low intensity because we are able to sneak volume in that way without um, beating you up. So you guys have all done uh, Tabata or um, something where we have you do a ton uh, of, of squats in a certain time frame. But if I told you you had all day to do an air squat, uh, just whenever you think about it, do it, and you did it over eight hours and uh, or 12 hours, and you ended up doing um, a, a perfect example is Angie. So if you've done 100 air squats in whatever time frame that might be, you know, five minutes or less, uh, you, you know, you did five, 100 air squats. But I told you throughout the day, you know, get 100 air squats and you did one air squat every time you just kind of thought about it until you hit 100 uh, and you spread it out over the course of the day, you're less likely to be as sore as you are. Um, um, as you were when you did Angie and you crammed it in that small time frame. So that's why we spread it out and we can kind of use this day as a recovery day as well. So that's kind of the idea behind these long duration uh, moving around uh, days. So if you guys have any questions, you can shoot me an email uh, at kyle at crossfitthelock.com. I uh, hope you enjoyed this and goodbye.